hello everyone in this video we are going to make the weaving fabric effect with the simulation nodes and the geometry nodes of blender 3.6 you can use this setup onto any kind of object with any shape and you also don't need to specify a uv map for the setup so let's get start so let's first add our object maybe this icosphere okay and then we're going to add the geometry node modifier so the idea behind this is first we're going to generate the lines based on defined direction and then we're going to convert those lines into a geometry or more specifically uh, we're going to generate the lines perpendicular to our predefined direction and but parallel to this surface of this object so let's add the vector node and this is our direction maybe in the z direction and then we're going to get the vector that is parallel to this surface okay so for that we need to do the cross product uh, uh, with the normal of the surface so that will give the vector which is perpendicular to these two vectors but parallel to the surface and let also normalize this and then i will show you how it will look we add the ks vector we are not by the way these utility nodes and follow of nodes are freely available on my gumroad page the link is in the video description so if we view this and connect this to the vector see we have these vectors which are parallel to the surface let me add a one level of subdivision that will be more clear okay see so these vectors are parallel to the surface okay and this is our original direction this one and this is the normal of the surface and this is our surface parallel vector based on this direction okay let me delete this and after that we're going to capture this onto our geometry like so let me disable this timing and name the attribute and next we're going to put this in a group node so let's make this one and this is our direction so all this has direction okay now we have this direction next we're going to distribute points on this surface and distribute points and if we connect this to this let me go to the solid mode we have these points okay so we can change the density as well as the seed so let's also bring that out okay next uh, we're going to convert these point into the vertices because later we're going to use the extrude node that only work on mesh okay so now we have these vertices and after that we're going to store one more attribute that going to be the boolean at point domain so it is tip so basically with this we're going to control the extrusion of the vertices we're going to only extrude the vertices that are latest or just newly formed okay so now we are done with this so next add the simulation nodes so simulation zone and connect this to the geometry and here we're going to add our extrude node and we are extruding the vertices and for the selection we're going to add the name attribute node type here tip and for the offset we're going to use this direction okay so we need to sample this sample nearest surface change this to vector and connect this to this so this is our direction for the offset and this is offset scale so let's set this to 0 0.03 and we can also bring that out from this group so next uh, we have to reset our this tip attribute so let's duplicate that and we're going to set this to our newly extruded vertices so let me run this animation see we have these lines which are perpendicular to this axis okay this z axis and one more thing we would like to do is that we add we're going to add the projection of these extruded vertices onto the surface so that is important because as we extrude these vertices along the surface of this base mesh they will be slightly off from the surface so we have to bring that back onto the surface 
so let's add the proximity node and then set the position of these vertices only the newly extruded vertices okay let me hide other inputs so now we have this these lines so this is our fabric line generator okay so let's call this as ks fabric lines so if i duplicate this and change the direction maybe to x axis uh, we will have different kind of lines lines perpendicular to the x axis uh, we can also combine these together so now we're going to have these crossing lines a uh, pattern like in the fabric okay so you can add multiple of these lines like in different directions and combine them with the joint geometry node now we have these lines next we can convert them into a geometry okay and for that uh, we need a mesh to curve node and next we going to store length of these splines that is required when we want to do the material for these lines so let's add the spline length a spline length from the spline parameter node okay so this is our lines length okay and next uh, we going to offset these lines based on the noise i'll explain why we need that and after that we can convert them into a mesh okay and let's add the circle here set this to 3 and this to 0 0 1 and connect this to geometry see we have these lines let me focus on this area see these lines are crossing each other or intersecting each other that slightly break the illusion of this as fabric so that's why we're going to offset this based on the noise so let's add the scale node and here we're going to add the subtract node and we're going to subtract 5 from the noise and let's add the noise this noise color change this to 1d make this around 0 0.2 0 0 okay for this w or this time parameter we're going to use the index of the spline so this is the point index at the spline level now we have this let me lower this to 0.15 and let me bring this see so this is before and this is after so with this noise these lines are uh, very rarely intersecting and now we have this nice fabric like illusion so after that we can also add the set material node to set the material for this and let me go to the shading and add the material and bring that material here okay so let's put this in a group okay so this is our geometry of the fabric lines so let's call this as ks fabric lines geometry so now we have this setup so now let's go to the material so let's add the attribute node to bring that lines length parameter then we're going to add the math modulo node to get the periodic variation based on this length divide this and for these we're going to use a value node for this offset and here let me define point 3 see we have this black and black okay so you can play with this parameter to change the frequency of this black and white mask and here we can add the ramp node let me bring this to the center and this to the end so this is before and this is after okay see we have this sharp transition for that we have this smooth transition black to white and here probably we can use this kind of color plug this into the principal node and we have this let me make this straight let me go to the render mode so we have this kind of material for this now let's generate more lines and see the effect so for that i'm going to disable this for the moment 
because it's going to slow down our animation let's add the value node so that we can control the density of these two nodes together maybe around 75 so let's run this so we have this kind of animation and let's go to the end of this frame and see the metrics. See, This really looks like a fabric. You can also increase uh, the density of these lines and slightly decrease the radius of this geometry profile and it will look like a thread for the fabric. So let's rename this as fabric effect. Okay, maybe a case. Okay. Uh, there are two ways to animate this you can directly generate these lines in this same setup and add the geometry and then do the animation okay so there is another way you can first generate the lines and apply the modifier and then apply this fabric effect so you have more a control which is independent of this time animation okay so for that we have to first disable this and then you have to select the frame for which you want to apply this modifier I'm going to use the last frame of this animation and then I'm going to apply this modifier. So we have these lines which are independent of this animation. Now we're going to add the geometry node modifier and then select our fabric line geometry setup. See we have this you can slightly decrease the scale and i think we have to also increase this scale the noise texture scale yeah maybe 0 0.05 yeah okay so nice thing about that it is independent of the time and you can add the trim node here to animate these lines so let me add this node here okay so with this node you can trim these lines and set up the keyframes to animate them. So now you have more control over the animation about these lines. So in this way you can animate them. So now I'll show you how to apply this setup into a different geometry. So let me hide this. Next we're going to add a different geometry maybe this torus. So now we have this and then we're going to add the geometry nodes modifier and select our this fabric effect. Okay node setup and if you run this see you have these lines onto the torus and if i enable this we have uh, the geometry for these lines okay so you can easily apply this uh, modifier into a different kind of geometry so this is it i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates so see you in the next video happy nodding bye